Today, we are blacking out my headlights and the headlights in Jordan's race car. It's all torn apart from the damage it had gotten the other day, so we figured we might as well do that one too. And over here, Jonathan's cleaning out the interior of the E36 from being stripped. All we need for this project is a can of plastic dip and some painter's tape. On the sedan, all we have to do is take the lens off, and on the coupe, you have to take off the lens and the corner marker. So Colton's headlights are pretty simple um, and there's luckily enough a gap in between where the ring and the headlight is all the way around it so we should be able to spray on the plastic dip and then peel it off of the ring. We are going to be using a little bit of tape. We took the light bulb out. You don't want any plastic dip on that. You'll ruin it. People that know plastic dip very well know that um, if you're going to tape anything off make sure you pull the tape off while it's still wet or the plastic dip will stick to itself and it'll pull the rest of your project with it. All right, we got our first coat on. It was a light coat, just like every Plastidip project. And now, we're gonna take apart those headlights while the first coat dries. So mine are gonna be just a little bit harder because I've got some uh, BMW racing stripes sitting here on the side where those three marks are on the E46. So what we're gonna be doing is cutting some strips of tape to tape that off and then it'll be the same process as Colton's. Halfway into the project, we have three coats on, and we're only in about 40 minutes. So, I'm almost done filling this ring off. But when I am done with that, uh, I was wanting to put a couple of these inside of the casing. And also, I wanted to put some red vinyl on these lines right here, just because that's something that I've always wanted to do. Cole and I are super happy with the way everything has turned out. Uh, the race car looks way more aggressive. Uh, you do need to keep in mind that the plastic will affect your light output. In my race car, it doesn't really matter too much because it's not driven a ton, and then when it is, it's not usually at night. Uh, Colton has really bright halo rings, and his projector lenses are adjusted to compensate for the fact that he doesn't really have brights now. So make sure to keep that in mind while doing yours. Other than that one downside, we definitely recommend this project to anyone who can overlook their high beams being a little bit dim. 